Hello everybody, welcome to, I'm sitting here, um, I'm visiting my daughter and granddaughter and son-in-law in Perth and I'm sitting here across, I live between a creek and a river and it's a beautiful spot down here. Anyway, I wanted to share with you, I was, um, excuse me, I'm a bit tired today, I had my grandmother's funeral on Monday and we're just, yeah, a little bit tired, especially running around after my granddaughter. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about honouring our emotional states to do with welcome. Oh, by the way, welcome to Wellness Win Wisdom Wednesdays. Um, and over the last couple of days I've been speaking to, I was speaking to a beautiful woman yesterday who's lost her son recently and I was also speaking to some people at the funeral as well and being at my Nana's funeral. It's really interesting to notice how we will avoid um, those more seemingly negative emotions and emotional states. You know, we don't like to dwell in the sadness or feeling the depression or being with people who don't know quite always how to be with people who are in those places and we so often oh, I might just move around this way see if that will help the internet hey Callie thank you for that <laughs> hey Nikki so lovely to have you guys join me I'm just talking about you know like honoring our emotional states and how that affects our health sorry I've got sticky up hair and everything today I wasn't really going to be doing this yet, so I just, um, I was jumping on a call and I'm waiting for that because it, uh, I got the wrong time, so I thought I'd do this now. Uh, if you, I can see there's a few more people on, if you say hello, I can see you, if you type in the thing, otherwise I can't see who's on, but if you don't feel like it, that's alright, just say hello. Um, anyway, so yeah, I was talking to these people and we were just... I've just noticed how much we do not honour that sometimes, you know, we want to be always living in this happiness and this peaceful state and this enlightened state, you know, especially when we get into the spiritual circles, we all want to be in this enlightened, peaceful state. And I think it's so important for our health when we honour where we're at as well, you know, we can really bypass and suppress when we don't move through things fully. And hi Donna, lovely to have you join me. And you know, sometimes we need to, sometimes we're not ready or prepared to, or in a place where we can go deeply into those more, let's say negative states. They're not really negative from, uh, when we look at it from a spiritual perspective, but you know, they can feel negative in our lives and they, you know, sometimes we're just not in a place to do that and we can put that to the side until we are. And sometimes that's very wise. But I noticed when I was talking to this woman yesterday, this beautiful woman, how important it is to go through those states, through those emotions, you know, to feel fully and then to move through it. Not so great if we stay in it. Um, PMS time doesn't let you suppress things. No, and that's the wisdom of womb wisdom that women carry is that our bodies don't always let us suppress these things and so it forces us in some ways um, to honour that wisdom. Yes, <laughs> Kelly, that's a good one. Uh, and I think it's really important for our bodies. Um, you know, if we start suppressing things all the time, we start getting health issues, our bodies will start screaming to us. So it's really important, especially if you're starting on a health journey, to really start honouring those emotions and those states. And sometimes if you've suppressed them for a long time, you have to go back and revisit them, which sucks, freaking sucks. But you normally move through them really quickly if you're aware and... Um, connected to what's going on and you've got a lot of support but it's really important to to do that sometimes when it comes to trauma or grief that can be we put, we do put it to the side because we need to be far enough out of the situation to be able to go through it emotionally and that's very wise too I don't think there's anything wrong with that either I think it's perfectly wise 
um, to honour ourselves with that. But I also think as a society, you know, when we're talking about um, death, we don't we don't really have a lot of uh, death being part of our lives. You know, it's kept separate. We, you know, it's all done to the side. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a really good thing, Donna. Donna's saying she'll give herself permission to wallow in self-pity for up to three days and then after that time and she makes sure she starts to move through it. That's a really good thing. Yeah, hey Leanne, lovely to have you join me. Yeah, because we can, you know, we can get stuck in that self-pity thing. This is not about getting stuck in those phases. It's it's about um, honouring it and moving through it, working with it. A lot of the time um, it can be a really powerful tool to work with, those more darker or negative energies. You know, they, sometimes they can be really motivating. You know, we feel like such crap that we actually um, do something about it. Uh, I know for me, um, I had a quite clinical depression many, many years ago and I had a lot of uh, postnatal depression and things with each child because I was so sick with them. And the depression got to a point where it was so bad that it was like, oh shit, we've got to do something about this. I can't keep living my life this way. And that um, led me to learn about energy healing and things like that because I was not clearing my energy I was not honoring my sensitivity so for me it led me to actually learn about myself and honor myself deeply um, and so you know those things there's so many gifts that come out of it but I think we need to yeah honor those times in our lives a little bit more you know how often do we go how are you going yeah I'm good and we're all just like yeah 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 we're good when we're not always um, so, yeah, just honouring that within ourselves. I think really, really good. Thanks, Leanne. <laughs> uh, what else? I think it was really important. I was feeling, you know, with the Beltane that we're celebrating yesterday or last night here, and today I'm still feeling a little bit of that energy, Samhain or Halloween um, in the Northern Hemisphere, and that, you know, there is this light in the dark and... We go through those movements and cycles through the year and honour them. <laughs> okay, so Kelly, I'm waiting to escape the cycle of hitting rock bottom to motivate myself. <laughs> or wanting to escape the cycle. Yeah, um, I think when we learn to work with them, sometimes we put it off. I think that's what happens is if we put it off, we put it off, we put it off. And then eventually we get to rock bottom where we can't put it off anymore. Um, and so if we can learn not to put it off and go, okay, let's go through this and use this energy rather than, um, like Donna was saying, you know, sitting in it for a while, then we don't always get to complete rock bottom. Sometimes there is a lot of wisdom in getting to rock bottom as well. And sometimes some people, that's just the way we work. You know, some people never reach rock bottom and some people that's just in their cycles. That's the way they do it. Um, and so uh, I think sometimes learning to honour that darkness in our lives and work with it rather than just compartmentalising it, putting it away till we reach that bottom point before we get motivated. And Leanne, your poor clients, they get the real emotions from you. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less, Leanne, from you. I would expect that they get the full, full experience of you, which I love that about you. I really do. I think that's wonderful because it brings it, makes it real. It really, really makes it real. And I think that's, you know, we've been, we live in this life. I was talking to my daughter about um, homelessness, actually, and how we, <laughs> I presume <laughs> the smiley faces are from you, Leanne, the laughing faces. But we're talking about homelessness and how, you know, I wonder how much of it is because we have got this idea that homelessness is a negative or bad thing and so we're moving them on we don't want to see people sleeping on the streets and maybe we need to start making it okay in our heads that some people don't like living in houses um, obviously some people on the street have no choice um, and but if we got rid of the stigma maybe they would get a lot more support 
you know, everybody likes to live in different ways and not everybody likes to live the way that society has it set up with houses and jobs and things like that. And so think, you know, it's our own. We don't want to see the homeless people on the street because we feel bad then. And it, you know, makes our cities look terrible or whatever it is by choice. I might have been a rabbit behind me. <laughs> I couldn't see, but it could have been. It's beautiful down here. My stepdaughter is homeless at the moment by choice. Yeah, that's hard. But sometimes I think there is freedom in that, you know. They're seeking the freedom from society and we create this society that's full of rules and boundaries and structure that some people just don't fit into or at that time in their lives they need that freedom or to that experience so i hope she finds the support that she needs sweetie if she needs support hi laura i can see there was a thumbs up from you uh what else was i going to talk about i think that was about it yeah, it was just a quick one about honouring all our different states of emotions. And um, I found it interesting at the funeral because I was in this quite happy state. You know, I feel quite um, uh, content about my Nana's passing, if that's a word. She's She was really ready to go and so I'm happy for her and I can feel her freedom on the other side. Hey, Laura. And... So for me to be around people who were like, oh, you poor thing, and they were all crying, and I'm like trying to be very honouring of where they are at, but still not feel like I had to be in that state to be part of it. Um, so it's interesting how we assign this is this experience, and so we should be feeling like this um, when each of us have our own um, perspective and experiences, that there is not one, one size fits all. Yeah, Kelly, I hope so too. Send her some love. There's some beautiful people on here, beautiful healers, I'm sure, with a collective sending her some love. Oh, Kelly, she would have, you know, you know my nana. She would have just been like, if you're there, you're there. That's awesome. If not, she's loving you anyway. <laughs> yeah, Laura, I'm not quite sure so much yes is about. Yeah, Nana Ruth was awesome. She's beautiful. <laughs> yeah love Nana Ruth yeah love rather than loved yeah yeah I know she's like partying it up up there now <laughs> stirring it all up <laughs> yeah anyway guys I feel like unless you've got any questions or anything you want to add I hope you're all doing well and having an amazing day today we've got beautiful weather over here I know Kelly you're over here but a few of the others you're in Adelaide it's like just really warm and beautiful yeah I know it's looking different every day Liad like I can't <laughs> hide anything <laughs> um, I'm feeling like there's quite a lot of I'm actually gonna have a phone call with my own mentor um, in a minute um, so it'll be interesting what shifts um, through our conversation to see if that changes in my face again <laughs> Yeah, I think I am. Um, with my Nana passing, um, I know that she, like, she was the eldest child who was a girl in her family, and my mum was the eldest of my Nanas, and she was a girl, and I was the eldest, and my daughter was the eldest, and my granddaughter's the eldest. And so there's this really strong feminine connection through that line. And with her passing, I could feel a huge completion of a cycle and I know that my body is moving through that oh looking younger I love that Leanne <laughs> bring it on <laughs> yeah so I really feel like I'm moving through um, a huge cycle of completion with that um, as she passes and, and maybe into a different you know as one passes you sort of everybody moves up into a different role or a different place a stepping up as well yeah so yeah so thank you for that <laughs> I like the looking younger 
It might have been the yoga. I've got to tell you a funny story, guys. I was doing yoga this morning. Just not very much of it because I was doing it with my granddaughter. It was hilarious. So we had to have a yoga mat. We couldn't just do it on the floor. And we get out the yoga mat. And she's doing, she goes into downward dog. Like, she's not quite two yet. She goes into downward dog. And then she goes, oh, fuck. And sits down. <laughs> And she looked exactly like her mum and I just giggled because I am sure I looked over to my daughter and I said, do you do that too? And she goes, yep. It was so gorgeous. The F word, she keeps dropping that and that's what you do when you do downward dog. <laughs> so, so cute. And maybe I'm looking younger because I'm with her and just enjoying being in this baby space, you know, little kid space of wonder and awe with everything. <laughs> Nana Ruth's party animal space. I don't know. I don't think my mum's going to take up that part. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll leave that to one of my sisters. I was a bit like I got to... Um, it was about 9.30, I think, after I'd been up since 5.30 in the morning. Got to about 9.30 and then I went up to mum's and left them all. They moved the party from the gallery up to my uncle's and all the, yeah, all the ones that can stay longer and drink more, they all partied on. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm trying so hard not to laugh at her and encourage the F word. But uh, there's a part of me just thinking, just go for it, kid. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm loving chatting to you, but I must go. Mwah. Enjoy your Beltane blessings, and we're moving into the full moon. And it's also like, what is it, the first of the 11th? So we've got 111s one, one, ones today, so an awesome portal of new beginnings. We've had lots of them this year, so it's really nice to feel that energy and focus on what you want in your life, what you're visioning, what you're creating what we're bringing you, all that new earth stuff. We better start freaking creating it. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Mwah. And honour where you're at, you guys, and move through it. See yous. Bye.